Hello guys, in this video, let's send messages from our IoT device to cloud using C Sharp code. So again, this is D2C communication. So we will send messages from our Visual Studio C Sharp code. Till now, we send the messages using Raspberry IoT stimulator. And in the real world, these are the telemetry messages. And finally, we will view these messages in Azure IoT Explorer. And just a note, telemetry, it means value measured by sensor of IoT device. So for example, temperature. And now let's switch to the Azure portal. So guys, we are in Azure portal and let's open our IoT hub. Let's go to devices. And here we have this device that is Herschel hyphen IoT hyphen device hyphen one. And now we want to send telemetry messages from this device to this IoT hub. And now let's go to the Visual Studio. So guys, we are in Visual Studio and we are creating a new project. So let's select console app. Next, let's give name to our project. So we'll say device to cloud messaging demo. Next and create. And you can see our project is ready. So guys, first let's install the required NuGet package. So right click on this project, manage NuGet packages, browse and we want to install this package that is microsoft.azure.devices.client. Let's select this first one and install. Accept. So this NuGet package has been installed successfully. So let's go to the program.cs again. So as we are sending messages from our IoT device to the cloud, we will need connection string for our device. So I will say we are device connection string is equal to and to retrieve it, let's go to the Azure portal. So again, we are in Azure portal. Let's open our IoT hub devices. Let's open our device. And here we can see this primary connection string. So let's copy it and let's go to the Visual Studio again. And let's paste it over here. And now we will need device client to send message to the cloud. So we'll say we are device client is equal to so we'll say device client dot create from connection string. And here let's provide this connection string that is device connection string. So guys this device client is available with us because we install this NuGet package. Okay. Now guys, let's assume we are working on app where we have higher panel IoT devices and these devices when they detect smoke or fire in a building, they will send that messages that is they will send those telemetry messages to IoT app. And for that I have already copied the code for a class. So let me paste it over here. So our class is fire panel device message. So you can see it's a simple and straightforward class. It has three properties that is event type, detector address and city. So event type, it can be either fire or smoke detector address. So it is the address of a detector. See guys, our IoT device, it may have one or multiple detectors and one of the detectors from this from that IoT device it can detect fire or smoke okay and that particular detector it will have something called logical address but guys we'll just keep it simple so we are just having detector address so it's a string and finally city so city it means the city where this IoT fire panel device has been installed okay so guys don't worry let's not go in too deep of this class Let's just assume it's a plain simple C sharp class. Okay. And now let's create an instance of this class. So we'll say we are fire panel device message is equal to new. 
file panel device message and here I will say event type is equal to say fire detector address will say one hyphen two hyphen three and city I will say Mumbai. And now we want to send this C sharp instance to Azure IoT Hub. So we will first serialize it, we will convert it into IoT device message, and then we will send it to our Azure IoT Hub that is cloud. So here I will say where serialized message is equal to say JSON convert dot serialize object and to this let's provide this instance and finally let's create our IOT message so I'll say where IOT message is equal to new message and to this let's provide this serialized message so here I will say encoding dot utf8 dot get bytes and to this let's provide this serialized message that's it so guys if i take my mouse to this message and if i click on this github examples and documentation you can see this message class is there from this microsoft dot azure dot devices dot client that is the nuget package which we installed over here okay so that is nothing but a message from device to the cloud so let me close this and finally let's actually send our message to cloud so here I will say await device client dot send event async and here let's simply provide this IoT message let's say our code and one more thing I will say console dot read line so that our program execution continues let me again save it let me add a debugger on line number 21 and now guys before we run our program let's open Azure IoT Explorer so we can actually see the real time messages which are sent from device to the cloud so again i'll click on start and here i'll say azure iot explorer preview let's open it let me delete this connection string so let's again go to the azure portal and retrieve the connection string of our iot hub so here i will duplicate this tab Let's click on home. Let's open our IoT hub. Under security settings, we can see shared access policies. Let's open this IoT hub owner. Let's copy this primary connection string. And now we are back in Azure IoT Explorer. I will say add connection. I have pasted the connection string we copied and let's say save so yes we can see our iot device let's click on this and here i will say telemetry and here i will simply click on start so here we are viewing the messages which are sent to this iot app so actually we are not seeing these messages directly from iot app but we are seeing or we are viewing these messages from the default event hub which is linked to our iot hub so guys this is built-in endpoint so we have already discussed what is built-in endpoint and what is default event hub in our earlier videos so you may refer it if required so now let's again go back to the visual studio and now i will run this program so let's say run and here the debugger has been hit that means 
the message must have been sent to IoT Hub or Cloud. So let's cross check in IoT Explorer. And yes, we can see this message and we can see the body and it has three properties that is event type, detector address and city.